Good morning, friends, and welcome to Wednesday, February 10th. Bev Long will start us with the Garden of Prayer. Wednesday devotion is from the Upper Room Discipline, written by Beth Richardson. And our scripture this morning is 2 Corinthians 4, 3-6. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. And in their case... The God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves, we proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Last spring, the author's academy group traveled from their retreat center at the heart of Birmingham, Alabama, for a civil rights pilgrimage. They walked through the Civil Rights Institute of witnessing the stories of the saints and martyrs who were lights shining in the darkness of racism in the 50s and 60s. They walked through the Kelly Ingram Park where children and high school students were met by police dogs and fire hoses. They gathered in the sanctuary of the 16th Street Baptist Church to hold their service of Eucharist. In 1963, a bomb exploded under the steps of this church, killing four girls and injuring 22 other people. In this holy place, they sang together, heard the scriptures read and proclaimed, broke bread and poured the cup. They remembered the brokenness of Christ in our history of today. They affirmed our hope in the one who come, came to bring peace to scatter love, to bind up wounds, and to whisper comfort. At the end of the day, they arrived back at the retreat center, tired, grateful, and troubled. They prayed the familiar words from the night liturgy, we have wounded your love, O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. The liturgy, the community, their common love and struggle, all these are the container that allows them to see God's light, illuminating our own privilege and racism. May each person find communities of love and trust and liturgy where we can be nurtured, challenged, and loved. Let us pray. O God of transformation, may your light shine into the shadows of our world, illuminating the way to justice, mercy, and love. Amen. Our closing hymn is Open My Eyes That I May See.
that shall unclasp and set me free. Silently now I wait for thee, ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my eyes, illumine me, Spirit divine. May your eyes be opened today.